Once upon a time, oh, about 9.30 in the morning, there was a pond and a great big tree in a meadow, surrounded by a creepy old forest. You got that so far? Okay. Now, there's also a house with a stone wall around it standing near that meadow. As you can see, this whole thing takes place in the country. And one day, Thursday, Peter opened the gate in the wall and went running and tripping through the meadow till he came to the big tree. <laughs> the tree was this little bird who chirped his song. It's all quiet, said the bird, even though nobody had asked. sat down underneath the big tree. Not right under the bird, but nearby. And pretty soon a duck walked by. Actually, he waddled or hopped. Well, whatever a duck does. Anyway, he got there by duck means. Out the gate, into the meadow, and splash into the pond for his daily little ducky dunk. <laughs> the little bird flew down from the tree and began hassling his web-footed friend. Hey, yeah, what kind of a bird are you? You can't even fly, said the bird. Hey, what's it to you, twerp? At least I can swim, which is more than I can say for you. And the duck dived into the pond and swam around. Boy, then it started. You ain't no Esther Williams, said the bird. Yeah, well, you ain't no Neil Armstrong, said the duck. And they argued and argued, going round and round, bad-mouthing each other. In short, a real bird bummer. In the middle of this, Peter noticed something. 
is the cat crawling through the tall grass. Cat seeing the bird and the duck hassling, he figures, hey, while these two birds are arguing, they won't see me, I'll sneak up behind them and bingo, lunch, terrific. So, the cat stealthily crept up on little fog feet. up, shouted Peter, and the bird made it up into the tree quick as a wink, or a panicky bird. From the middle of the pond, the duck yelled at the cat, or quacked at the cat. The duck yelling actually sounds a lot like quacking. The cat ignored him since he was very much into his own problem, which was getting the bird out of the tree and into his mouth. The cat figured, should I climb up there? Nah, by the time I get up there, he'll probably fly away, and then where will I be? Stuck up a tree, hungry, being yelled at by a duck, and no fire department to come and get me down. Pass on that. Then along came Grandpa. He was a little uptight because Peter had gone into the meadow. Didn't I tell you not to go into the meadow? You want to get polio? What, what, if a, hey, what if a wolf should come into the woods and eat your face, huh? What would you do then, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey. thought about this. What if a wolf should come? What if a tank should come, or a helicopter full of marines, or the tax collector? There are a lot worse things than wolves. Peter thought, boy, old people sure have strange fears. Grandpa was really freaked. He grabbed Peter by the ear and said, Come on, you Mr. Rock and Roller Mod Pop happening person. You're coming into the house this minute. And he threw Peter in the house and locked the gate. sooner were they inside than out of the woods, creeping along, came, sure enough, a huge, gray, fierce, hairy tax collector. No, a wolf. I was just kidding, see? Grandpa was right. Maybe old people are into something. A wolf.
seeing the wolf, quick like a bunny, the cat ran up the tree. The tree struck one and down he come and no, he was up in the tree and scared stiff. <laughs> The duck quacked and started to freak. She jumped out of the pond and tried to run away on little web feet, but she couldn't get away from the wolf. This is a dumb duck here. I mean, let's face it. Why didn't she stay in the pond? Wolves can't swim. Try to talk sense to a duck, right? So the duck runs for her life. She can't get away from the big old wolf. He gets closer and closer and closer right on top of her. And the wolf gets the duck, and he swallows her in one big gulp. Very cold duck.